Meetings are tedious. Not only are we expected to take notes, remember what happened, but we then have to take those action items and deliver on them. To make matters worse, someone may miss the meeting and have no clue what's going on, and then someone else on the team has to bring them up to speed. This problem, however, can be addressed by Cisco's WebEx Meeting Assistant. The Meeting Assistant will capture action items, takeaways, and key highlights, and then you can actually distribute them out to the team. In this video, I'm gonna give you a brief introduction to WebEx Assistant, how it works, how it can work for you, uh, how it uh, interacts with the meeting, and then ultimately how you can take the action items and, and highlights that it generates and send them out to your team. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you find this helpful. With that being said, let's dive in and check it out. To get started with the meeting assistant, you wanna open up your WebEx meeting. You can see I'm in a meeting now. In the lower uh, corner, there is a WebEx meetings assistant icon. Now your administrator does have to enable you for this, but uh, simply uh, click that and you can turn on the WebEx Assistant. WebEx Assistant is enabled to save audio highlights. You'll get a notification, a verbal notification from the Assistant, and you'll notice the Captions and Highlights window opens along the side. One thing you'll also notice is there are closed captions along the bottom of the screen. These can be toggled on and off with the closed caption uh, option menu. You can toggle the background color, the font size, and also the uh, highlights window from this menu uh, option as well. If you wanna issue commands for the WebEx Assistant to capture, there is a nomenclature, a keyword, if you will, that you use to get its attention, and then it will capture the uh, phrases, the notes and decisions accordingly. I have included a document in the video description below that gives you all of these and the syntax to use. It's very natural and easy to follow. Check that out in the video description below. Let's give it a shot. Okay, WebEx, create a decision that we have selected ABC Corporation. Okay, WebEx, make a note to share meeting minutes with Steve. Okay, WebEx, create a summary that we are moving on to the next project. Okay, summary created. Okay, WebEx, create an action item to post this video to YouTube. Okay, action item added. After we've asked the assistant to help us out with these things, you will see the items highlighted in the captions and highlights bar along the side. If you go to the highlights tab, you'll see some of them captured here as well. Now there may be one or two that weren't captured uh, as a highlight, but are highlighted in the captions menu. There we go, it's the last one, the action item. I'll show you post meeting how we actually take a look at these and clean them up and ultimately send them out uh, and make sure that they are exactly the notes that we wanted to send out. So for instance, in this case, I said to create and post the video to YouTube. Uh, it doesn't say YouTube, it says something else. So now let's jump over to our meetings portal and I'll show you how you put some finishing touches on these notes and then share them with the team. When the meeting's over, you can log into your WebEx portal, go to the meetings tab along the side and come to past meetings. We'll go into this most recent one here we'll see all of our highlights, they'll load. Uh, we can see what was said. Now here you can see that uh, something was a little off here that the, the way that it transcribed this, we don't work with a place called BC Corporation. I don't really know what that was though, so I can actually highlight and play the audio and, and hear what it was that I was asking the system to record. Let's go ahead and do that now. WebEx, create a decision that we have selected ABC Corporation. Oh, okay, so this was that we created a decision to work with the ABC Corporation. So I can actually tweak this note if I need to and go ahead and do that. And in part of this, you could actually hear the WebEx portion, right? The OK WebEx. So uh, we could just clear that out and just say we created the decision or we made the decision, right? We can really change it to whatever we need to. And by the way, this was also a decision. So let's go in and toggle the decision flag instead. This allows you to review your notes and there's probably other one or two other things in here that uh, that might, might be uh, important as well. Here's actually something that was captured by an action item. I used the word action item in a sentence when I was talking about action items. This really is, is not applicable, so I can actually delete that. Uh, as well and prune it down just to you know what it was that we wanted. Now there's probably a few other things that I would tweak. 
as well, but uh, for sake of time, let's go ahead and share this out. You can come up here and hit the share button and uh, type in details. You can also share uh, view only or edit. And if they are WebEx users, they will get that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my email address in here and send it. All right, so that's it. We've gone from taking notes to joining a meeting to enabling the assistant to actually editing and reworking our notes a little bit before we send them out and share them with our team. There's a couple things I wanna leave you with though. First of all, practice with this, get familiar with it, work with WebEx Assistant, uh, make sure that it consumes your way of saying things in a way that you know ref is properly reflected in the notes. So practice with it, open it up and, and experiment, kind of like I did in this video. Second is say it comfortably and naturally, right? When you say, okay, WebEx, take a note, flow right through it. It actually works better that way because it doesn't have the opportunity for the uh, WebEx assistant to hear other people talking in the meeting or hear other noise and kind of get confused. So it actually works pretty well, but does take a little practice to get super familiar with it and super effective. Um, with that being said though, I wanna thank you for watching. If you have questions, comments, tips, tricks, leave them in the video comments section below, and I hope to see you back sometime soon.